Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today I'm going to show you guys how to properly bleach your roots and fix banding. So the first step, we're going to put on our gloves, as usual protect your fingers. And I'm starting with some coconut oil already in my hair that I put on last night to help protect it. Then I'm going to take two scoops of my favorite bleach, which is L'Oreal Quick Blue. And I know I've answered this question before if I had a favorite bleach and I didn't until recently. So there you go. Now I'm going to use a 40 volume developer. I'm using the cream developer because it's the easiest to maneuver. Just the Salon Perfect brand and some Olaplex. And the only reason I'm using 40 volume is because the Olaplex brings it down to a 30 volume and you don't want to fry out your hair. And the reason I'm using Olaplex is because it protects your hair from some of the damage that bleaching normally does to it. So now I'm going to section my hair into four sections, starting down the middle and then doing a crosswise section. So kind of like if you were playing four square, just like that, just do like four squares. Then you want to use some pins to just collect your hair into the four quadrants. You can leave one section out because obviously you have to work on one section first so it wouldn't really make sense for you to pin all of them up. I'm also pulling one side to the other side so that it's really out of the way. So when I'm doing the bleaching, it will just be pulled to the other side and make it a lot easier. Anyways, for this, I have really overgrown roots, and I'm taking the more professional approach for this, and I'm actually using a brush this time, and I'm only applying the bleach to the sections that aren't directly next to my scalp, so I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch free and applying bleach on the rest of that. Then I'm using my gloved fingers and just kind of squishing the hair that has the bleach together just to make sure that the bleach is very saturated on all the sections of the hair. I'm pulling very thin sections of each quadrant and just coating it in bleach, leaving that quarter inch of my roots for later because that quarter inch processes faster than the rest of your hair. So if you want to have more of an even bleaching, you have to do it this way, which I never really did before, but I'm really just trying to fix any banding and just do this as properly as possible so then I can have a more even base for my color. This bleach and developer combo doesn't really swell, so you can just put it exactly where you want it to be. So now you're gonna take out your next section that you're gonna work with and do the same thing. You're going to section each section, lots of sectioning going on here, into very thin strips and just use the brush to paint on the bleach on both the top and the bottom sides of each of the sectioned sections. Um, you don't really have to squish it together if you're doing it properly or professionally, but I like to since I'm doing it on my own. And here's a close-up. You can see that I'm leaving a little bit of the roots untouched, as I mentioned earlier. And that also does help with the bleach feeling, so it's not going to be touching your scalp, so it's not going to burn, at least initially, so that's something that I enjoy, <laughs> not burning. <laughs> and then once it's all covered and you look like a freak, it's time to cover that all up with a plastic bag. Now you want to leave this on for as long as your bleach should be left on, which is a little bit different for any bleach. I'd recommend about 20 to 30 minutes, but you want to just look at your hair and make sure that it's lightening. And then you're going to go back in with your bleach and just coat all of your roots. Now while those process, you want to also add a little bit of extra bleach to any parts that have banding. So the overgrown section of your roots that aren't directly on your head need more processing time, and then the roots and the banding need to process less so you do those at the same time and then leave everything on for an additional however long it needs to be on I'd say about 20 to 30 minutes and then once you rinse that out I'm going in with step 2 of Olaplex to help repair those bonds that I just broke because once you break the scenting, you need to fix it. So that's one way to help restore health to your hair. I recommend doing any bleachings at least a day apart. This is a different day where I've just done a round two, and then I put bleach on the bottom banding. Also, Leah was there when I was doing this, so hey girl, look at that cute face. <laughs> Anyway, so now I've rinsed out the second round of bleaching where I did exactly the same thing. I'm putting in Olaplex Step 2 throughout the bleached parts and then just running it through my hair. And now I'm doing a very simple bleach bath, which is just a scoop of bleach, some shampoo, some people add developer I didn't this time, and then I'm putting that on the green sections of my hair. And this is just going to be kind of a gentler way like compared to bleaching, of getting out the remaining dye in your hair. So once I rinse that out, another day later, I am toning my hair. So this is the Blonde Brilliance 
toner and developer. I've used platinum before, but I decided to do lavender this time. You want to use a full tube of that and then half of a can of developer for that. And I just use 10 volume just so it will just work instead of lifting my hair more. Anyways, now I'm putting this toner onto my roots, all of the yellowy sections because this is going to get out the brassy tones, all that yellow that you don't need ruining your life, and it's just going to help bring your hair to more of a blonde and use its ashy cool toned colors to counteract the warmth. Um, I'm putting that on all of the roots and then just bringing it down a little bit so it does fade into the rest of the hair so it's not just a stark transition but you want to focus it on the roots of your hair. Once that's in, you don't have to wait long and it will already start working its magic. You can see that the lavender has shown up on the whitest parts of my hair, which is to be expected, but that also just kind of washes out. But anyways, this is what it looks like after I've bleached everything in the way that I described. I've gotten rid of some of the banding and my hair is ready. It's light enough, it's a blank canvas, and it is ready for some coloring girl! I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you did, and if you want to stay tuned so you can see what the next hair color is. I have links to all the products I use down below, as well as my social media and my vlog channel. So thank you chameleons so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Kisses! Mwah.